that one was planted just a little bit more shallow. I'll go ahead and give him a green flag. Um, see this one, how this one's farther along? It's got that lower leaf starting to come out already mm -hmm. compared to this one. Mm -hmm. So as we watch it through the season, see it? Everything ideally should be consistent. See how these are just coming up out of the ground? So these are planted deeper than this one is. So, where's my flag then? I'm gonna do 12 rows like this. Okay. See, and this one's got the two lower leaves already. So that's a day ahead. The camera's gonna show the difference. So the camera's on five different trials because that's where you kind of went with everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be able to watch the response of those as the season progresses. Okay. But. I want to get the 12 rows marked with these green flags quick and then um, we'll put the white ones up. Mm -hmm. See this row? Pretty much don't have anything yet. So, and, yep, that's going to be a white flag for today. Yeah, your row marker is right here. So that's should be able to see tractor tracks too. So you should have a wheel track right here, wheel track right here for the duels. No till, it's a lot harder to see, but yeah. you can kind of tell. So you didn't have enough downforce in mm -hmm. the center of the planter, so the seeds didn't get planted as deep. Mm. Now are we gonna be able to see how that affects our yield? Mm -hmm. So what we'll see in season is that the ears will be on a different leaf and you won't get that picket fence with the ears. Oh really? Mm -hmm. See this just came up today. This just came up today. See how short those are compared to like that. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. We are out here at my 30 acre no-till cornfield and we got Andrew. So Andrew, what are we doing? All right, so we're watching the emergence of these seeds. Um, we don't have the hydraulic downforce enabled on the planter, but we did have monitoring. So we had sensors on all the gauge wheels, actually on eight of the 12 uh, row units. And we were able to see how much pressure was put down on the gauge wheels as we planted this field. Now we're monitoring how even the emergence is on the seeds. And uh, I came out here last night. I didn't have my flags with me last night, but I am flagging the stuff that I can tell emerged um, sooner uh, than the other seeds. We basically have, I would say, 70% emergence right now. Uh, it looks like about 10 to 15% um, was emerged yesterday when I came out here. Uh, I came out here last night and uh, then it started raining so I didn't get my flags <laughs> out. But we've had a lot of rain. You can actually hear Ryan the um, rain percolating through the soil right now. Uh, when I came it almost sounds like it's sprinkling. All right. But you're just hearing the air come up. This ground is probably 90% saturated right now. Hmm. So I saw okay. quite a few earthworms uh, coming in and out too. but. Um, I'm gonna get these flags done, but I did notice um, there's a lot more uh, emergence from right behind where the tractor went. Mm -hmm. This is our row marker right here. So you have more compaction. Um, the center of the planter where the tractor tires went, our, our seeds didn't get planted quite as deep, so we have a lot more emergence. In the next couple days as we come out here, or I'll come out here, I'll flag off what's coming up. But I think we're gonna see that um, We've got uh, different emergence behind the tractor and then on the wings of the planter as well. Mm -hmm. Technically, you got the same down pressure across the whole 12 rows. Um, but uh, we'll see how going with one consistent down pressure... Um, doesn't really apply to the whole planter. It doesn't, yeah. And it's quite the map. Um, I'm glad we had at least the monitoring on the planter this year so we can see um, how that affects the emergence of the corn. Okay, cool. And then flag the ones that are about knuckle height, okay. especially if you can see two leaves. So that's basically what I'm judging at. If you can see um, leaves starting to come off the sides yep. or if they're knuckle high, 
like I'm considering this a flag because it's pretty high. Well, yeah, farther along than that. Okay. It's really cool when you see the earthworms come in and out of the ground. Yeah. right there. I'll dig this one up. Oh yeah. Alright. So we go to basically the top right there to the seed. I'd say we are about one and a half right there. Yep. So at best, <laughs> maybe, you know, depends on where you want to put the end of that, but yeah. you know, I'd say one and a half or just shy of that. Yep. And then let's go to one that's got the blue. You can already tell it's a lot longer there. So it was just barely out of the ground, so one and three quarters probably. Hmm. That's about what was out of the ground. So not a whole lot, but. Has this been growing slower or does this uh, just not been growing quite as fast? Deeper. So this one's deeper. Yeah, this one's deeper. So it had farther to go to get up out of the ground. Let's look at them side by side. So see how this has been out of the ground? See how you got more green to mm -hmm. it? So this has been out of the ground, so it's probably about right there. So that's the difference. Oh, okay. You know, so you got, you know, this was planted probably about that deep compared to that deep. <laughs> That's so, quite a difference. <laughs> yep. I mean, it, it is somewhat small in the whole scheme of things, but it's enough of a difference that I mean, you can tell by the color of it that how much what, how much longer this has been out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And what these flags are going to do is it's going to let us compare the ears on the plants like this versus the plants like this. Sweet. And theoretically, this one should out yield this one. Which one should? Um. Well. Actually, this one will probably have the bigger ear because it's going to overshadow this one. But hmm. we want consistent planting depth. Yeah. So it all depends on what happens with the ear. But but yeah, it's the shallower ones are going to overshadow these ones. And this one's always going to be competing. So. Hmm. Okay. It's not always about which one comes out of the ground versus about that they all come out of the ground at the same time. Mm -hmm. you know, if you've got a bunch of two inch ones and then one you know, inch and a half one, well, two inch ones should be up because they're all coming out of the ground consistently should do fine. But if you have a bunch at an inch and a half and then this one's at two inches, it's coming mm -hmm. out of the ground late. Then they start competing when they can't yep. be. Right. Hmm. So. But. so as we look at this, I mean, we're gonna see like in the center rows, we're gonna have the whites are a lot more consistent. But as there's fewer whites out here on the wings. Yeah, I'm noticing that there, there's going to be a lot more blues out here than there is whites, yeah. especially over there too. So. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more variability on emergence out there on the wings. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to grab my iPad and I'll show you that downforce map. Okay. So as of right now, the green flags came up first. The whites are the second farthest along. And then the blues are just starting to come out of the ground. That's what we've got so far. We are this was planted on the 13th days. of May. How many How many days? 11 days. 11, okay. Is that pretty typical from what you usually see? It all depends on how much heat you have. Right, well, yeah, it's true. Yep, so technically you could figure that the green flags came out of the ground 
at um, nine days after planting. White are 10 and blue is 11. Hmm. Okay. Cool. So this, this is our map. So this is the Agfinity app. And right now we're looking at the down forest gauge wheel load. This was planted on the 13th of May. How many, how many days? 11 days. 11, okay. Is that pretty typical from what you usually see? It all depends on how much heat you have. Right, yeah, it's true. Yep, so technically you could figure that the green flags came out of the ground at um, nine days after planting. White are 10 and blue is 11. Hmm, okay. Cool. So this, this is our map. So this is the Agfinity app. And right now we're looking at the down forest gauge wheel load. On this Agfinity app, the dot is the location that we are standing right now. So we look at, um, you know, even if we move in a couple rows, we're gonna be at the center of the planter. So I found the row marker right here. So here's the center of the planter. And the white stripes are where uh, we don't have gauge wheel sensors. So we've got gauge wheel sensors on eight row units. And you can see that there's a lot more um, force on the gauge wheels. The dark colors are higher force. So right where the tractor drove down the center, you know, at this specific spot, you can click on a spot here. So there's 208 pounds of pressure on the gauge wheels in that spot. Compared to going out to the wings, there's only 33 pounds. <laughs> Of down pressure. Jeez. So, so this is, I think the airbags that, that were set at what, 80 pounds uh, out here? Can't they were usually we, when we were planting, uh, we had them set between 75 and 100 pounds. Hmm. But that's the difference across the whole planter. Um, you know, we've got a, we've got an average of 68 pounds. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you can see, you know, right by the tractor wheel tracks, um, you know, how much, how much force is put on those gauge wheels. And that's why you see with these flags here, we had a lot shallower planted corn. We just didn't have enough pressure mm -hmm. uh, to get that seed in the ground at the right depth. Whereas over here, um, we didn't have as much resistance against those gauge wheels. So our seed got planted at the right depth of two inches okay. as indicated by the flags here. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this is the 6499 um these are the varieties we have out in the field and different trials we have yep um, we've got our population we can actually click on any of these and uh see our map of what our population is Let's zoom out a little bit so there's our population across the field there um so yeah and planting date um, I had that on a different screen, but yeah, planting date was the 13th here Okay. in this field. And the cool thing with this app too, if we want to, we can click on a spot, we can add a note, or we can add a picture. So <laughs> take a new photo and uh, select it, and then use photo. So now when we come back in season, um, we'll be able to see that photo the date and time it was taken, and we'll be able to compare that all the way through harvest. Dude, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Basically, we've got all the ones that are up marked. Yep. So. So I'll come back out here in the next couple of days. I don't think I'll be spraying. We've got <laughs> <laughs> plenty of rain. Yeah. But uh, I, I would say within three days, everything will be flagged in this section. And uh, when it comes time to harvest, uh, we'll actually physically pick the ears mm -hmm. and compare the ears with the color flag that rep is represented by it. Okay. Yeah, that'll be interesting to do later on this year too. I mean, I think people are really going to take out of that. That's going to be something that Yeah. I don't think too many videos are done on, on YouTube, really. Right. I, I haven't seen too many of those. So. Yeah. No, it's it'll be nice to follow it all season long and see the height of the ears on the plants, see the plant height throughout the season mm -hmm. as compared to when they actually came up out of the ground. So Andrew and I just finished marking the corn plants that have come up. Now the three different flags that we've used so far uh, measure which plants are up and how far along they are. 
based off of this, we can tell how deep they were planted or approximately how deep they were planted on, based on how long it took them to come up. So it's pretty interesting to see. I'm really looking forward to following it all year. I mean, this is something that we've never really done before. And Andrew from WS Ag is kind of pushing us to do all this. And it's actually gonna be pretty cool to compare how the planting depth compares to yield at the end of the year. So anyway, I just wanted to keep you guys along for the ride. I mean, we are here to show you guys what's going on. Uh, I didn't really get a good chance so far to share the financial a aspect of it uh, just because this spring's been so hectic for me. But um, I hope to kind of get more into it as the year goes on and share with you guys more uh, what things, how things are going. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check out us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I'll see you next time.